Hey, so in this video, I'm going to go over how to use a uh, plot code in Firebase Studio. And yeah, you can pretty much follow these steps um, for any like Linux or Mac setup. But yeah, first uh, you can either, I'm going to use Flutter, so you can either create a new project here or um, you can click import repo. So we have that project that I've been working on. We'll shorten that um, name. And then we'll click this for mobile SDK support since we are using Flutter. So yeah, it will take a little bit, but yeah, um, I can go over this. So I did also want to go over how to add uh, an MCP server. So you can run these commands, but I like to go with this configuration so if you look at the docs um, yeah I usually scope it locally um, but yeah this is like uh, yeah this would be like a local server maybe but yeah uh, but this is for project scope and yeah they mentioned creating a .mcp.json file so we can do that so this has been set up, but um, yeah, we'll ask us a couple of questions. Uh, do we want to install the inst um, extensions? I clicked yes on that. Uh, we can ex exit out of that and click yes for this. And it will ask you to rebuild the environment. And you do need to do this so you can run the emulator, but yeah, click okay here and run pubgit and so pubgit basically installs the dependencies if you're new <laughs> to flutter but yeah um and we can click rebuild environment and that will set up everything um and get it ready so we can use the emulator but honestly um using the web version uh, runs a little bit more efficiently <laughs> here yeah it depends um, so they should automatically show here yeah we'll see if the how well it runs I'll keep it up but um, I usually go with the web here so yeah so of course last time I mentioned you can uh, use Gemini and I showed you how to do that uh, issues we'll ignore this for now but yeah we need to install plot code so I'll put all of these in the um, description but yeah we just need this command and node is already install installed for uh, once you have a, a flutter environment yeah so I'll go back here, click here, command palette, um, terminal, it gave an error, but it still opened, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, not running properly, so we'll see, let's try to open this again, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not sure what the issue is. Okay, but we do see the um, project here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There are images, but <laughs> they're pretty big. Um, yeah, I'm just using the remote images. But yeah, one thing I want to, I guess, task plot um, with is updating this services page. So if you remember, um, it's using uh, yeah it's using services section but it's based off so we have this pages directory but um, 
Yeah, it's using ser or what is the service? I don't believe it's service detail page. Let's look at main dart. Oh yeah, services section. But yeah, home page um, also has the services section, so that's what it should look like. But uh, let's go to the drawer. Oh, okay. Yeah, since this uses a column, it just needs to update that. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm having issues with this. I'll just close this and run it again. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. So we'll go ahead and run this command. kicked me out <laughs> okay so I just pasted that command here and we'll run it and we'll, we will need to log in so it installed that so now we can run flawed and this will just set up the start the setup and you can choose your text style so I'll go with dark mode um, yeah, I have a Claude account, so that's what I'm going to use. But if you have an API key, um, you can use the AP or Anthropic console account. And yeah, but I believe <laughs> use, having a subscription may be the cheaper way to go. It depends on your use case, but yeah. And so I'll just click open uh, here. It will give me an authentication code. It does this the first time. I don't know why. But let's do it again. So you can do it. If you're on a Mac, command click. Or you can, I'm on the Windows, I'm not sure. But you can hover over the uh, URL. It should show you the shortcut. I'll click open again. We can authorize. And we should get an authentication code. And we can copy that. And paste it here enter has its warning uh, messages press enter I use the recommended settings uh, we could proceed yes yeah, it's, it's just asking if um, it trusts this directory yeah so we can get started but um, welcome to log code for VS code Okay, yeah, it's just basic message, starting message. Yeah, so you can tag files. So, for example, main.dart. Um, yeah, but we're going to start with um, services. Oh, yeah. <laughs> services uh, section. And you can press enter to choose a file once it's at the top. And yeah, um, we are having layout issues, and with the web, web should load faster, so we can see the console. Okay, yeah, I need to go. But yeah, we anyways, we don't have to go through that, but we have the exceptions here. We could just copy and paste it and plot. Press space. You can press enter. And uh, yeah, the issue is like in the column, it's the child. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mentioned that here. Uh, I'll route in a single child scroll view. I'm not sure if that will work. It needs to wrap this column actually and honestly I would never make functions like this that return a widget I'll just make separate widgets um, yeah, but I mean this is fine for now 
I'll just make like stateful stateless widgets but yeah I believe it needs to we can go ahead and try it but I don't believe that's the fix for it I don't know yeah because we need to wrap the other one let me see Uh, that didn't work. Need to wrap. Oh, it's not showing. The column uh, under build. And it tells you um, the task it's implementing as it goes along. Yeah, what I like about this is that it shows you like their preview compared to other agents. Yeah. You can all, since we're also using Git, you can see it here as well. Yep, so we can preview this on web. We'll just refresh. Put this down. Services. Okay, and there it goes. So, uh, 